Yeah. Hello! Okay, so I don't know if we can see the comments, but I'm here with my friend Dar, and we're going to be showing you our Stamparatus Smack Technique. So these are the cards that I made with this, um, and I made these for um, International uh, Day of Forests, which is kind of cool. And for those of you that don't know Dar, Dar and I have been friends for over 20 years. We met when I dated her uh, son yes. in middle school, and uh, and we've been friends ever since. She was my netball coach, really? and yeah, she's been coming to Technique Club for five years or so. We had a little break in there, but a long time. So I'm really excited to show this, and Dar hasn't seen this before either. So um, we've got. Uh, Stamparatus, and then I've got the image here from um, Lovely as a Tree, which is this one here. So we've got some nice little trees there, and what we're going to do is we're going to stamp this twice. So you used the Stamparatus before, right? Just for one card. Yeah, so basically we've got it mounted up onto our plate, um, and I lined it up already. Um, and then we're going to put our cardstock in here now. I think what we're going to do is we'll line up our small piece first. So this is the one that's going to go into our binder. And I'm just going to use the magnets on the back to hold that in place. So we get that kind of in the right spot. Perfect. All right. Good enough. And then what we're going to do is the first one we're going to stamp with stays on. So this is like a permanent marker. And the maraschino cherries. Yeah. <laughs> it smells. It smells. Yeah. yeah, some people like it, some people don't. And this is a good tip for the Stamparatus. You can put a uh, stamp case underneath and it's a little easier. And then this we're just going to stamp like normal. So we're just going to put it down like that. Ooh, did I forget something? I just realized I think I forgot something that I should have brought. Um, Jar, do you have like a spray bottle just with water in it? I've realized I've got my spritzers. Yes, I do. <laughs> like the most important part of all of this. It just goes to show you. Okay. While Dar's grabbing that, I'm going to be coloring in my stamp. So I'm just going to color right over the stays on. And I'm going to use um, four different colors. I've got um, soft suede. Actually, I'm going to use five different colors. Perfect. Okay. So normally I use the spritzers for this, but today we're going to use Dar's. Um, little water bottle. Just goes to show you. You can use different things. Use whatever you have. It's my plant spritzer. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. And then with this, you can use whatever colors you've got to. Um, I'm using soft suede for the trunks, uh, mossy meadow for the grass, um, and then gorgeous grape, poppy parade, and melon mambo for kind of the spring colors on the trees. So all I'm going to do is kind of roughly color in the areas that I want in those colors. So I've colored in the grass, yeah? So that's okay over the stays on? Yeah, so the stays on is dry already, so it's just kind of going to sit there and, until we clean it off. And then I'm just using the side of the brush tip. And then with these, I'm just going to kind of randomly scribble over the branches. Now if I were to just stamp this normally, we actually wouldn't see any of the color because it would just stamp right over the black, right? So that's where the spritzer's going to come in. So it's almost going to make it like a, um, a watercolor. Yeah, because we want that color, those colors to kind of go somewhere else, right? We don't want them to just hang out where they are and be boring. Not the colors are boring. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to take that and And then we're going to get some water on oh, here. Get it quite wet. Yeah. And then we're going to take this and we're going to smack it. And we smacked it. Oh, wow. So that's got to dry. So we're going to set that aside. And I'm going to clean this off so that Dark can do hers. Did you get wet? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happens. It's not a clean and tidy technique. I think it's an apron. Apron, apron technique. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You can, depending on how you spritz it too, like this one is, it's fairly coarse. So we can see if we can do it finer. Maybe we'll just okay. tighten it up a bit, maybe. Mm -hmm. right. Not all the way. Mm. 
can't believe I forgot my spritzers. They're like integral to this whole operation. That's what happens when you pack on your way out the door. <laughs> All right. So now it's your turn. Okay. So we can do the little one here. And that just lines up there. Okay. Morse code. Yeah. <laughs> and so that one you're just yeah, stamping normally. So, no, yeah, should be. Oh, and if you want to do it again, because we're stamping in exactly the same spot, you can actually ink it up more. So it's a little bit light. Do you so it be darker? Do? It doesn't have to be, but, but, you, but you, can. you can because it's going to stamp exactly in the same spot again. Okay. And that's one of the nice things with the Stamparatus can stamp again if something's not dark enough. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Wait, yeah. 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 Okay, that works well. Yeah. It's, except now to line it up again, we just line it up on the corner. So this is the bottom here, and then that's the side there. See how it stamped a little off there? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we'll line it up again. Okay, All the right. Colors. Now the markers. And we can okay. Even... So we did. Okay. So the P sign. So yeah. it stops and. I'm going to fold our cards in the meantime. I like this, you have to get it in between the lines or anything. Yeah. <laughs> So I guess you don't want to cover all the black though, right? You can, yeah, because the black will show through no matter what. So I colored like the green, I colored most of it and it just didn't, it didn't uh, uh, like splash it everywhere. Um, so I was trying to not, but yeah, you're, I, I see what you're yeah. saying. And did you have a particular way of doing this or just all over kind of? No, just kind of little pieces you can, it's kind of a, anything goes and everything's going to look good. It'll just look different. And if you don't like one, you can try to do the next one. And every one will be different. So I did this one, this technique I did with the dream catcher image for a swap at on stage. Mm -hmm. um, and so I made like 50 of them and they all looked different. Oh, cool. Yeah. No, two of the same. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend making 50 because you do have to do this for all of them. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now I squirt it. Yep. So you wet it down. Okay. Yeah. So try to get some more on the bottom. I think that was my problem was that I didn't get enough wet on the bottom. Is that look good? Yeah. Okay. And give it a smack. And just flip it. Yep. Just to, I usually take it halfway and then slam it down. Ooh. That feels good. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yep, and then peel it off. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I like that. Awesome. <laughs> so, and again, another, I'm going to come up and show them a little closer. So, you got two totally different. This one was mine. I wetted it down a bit more. And then that one was Dar's. So, both really cool, very different looks. This is the one that I did on the card that put all together. So, now we're going to do that whole thing again. For the front of our cards. Yep. Um, where did I put the chamois? Here we go. Yeah, we can just wipe it down with that a bit. Um, and then, yeah, we'll do the same thing on the fronts of our cards.
and then it's just assembling the cards. So these little pieces go onto sheets for our technique binder. I, again, packing issues, forgot to bring the sheets. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll post a sheet with instructions that you can make here on one of these and put it on there um, when I post the video so that everybody can have one of our technique club sheets. Mm -hmm. okay. And you can put that just in a normal binder or you can do the smaller binders with the um, like memories and more pocket scrapbooking pages um, and keep all your ideas and techniques in there. Okay. All right, so now so we, a bit wet. Yeah, we can get rid of the magnet. that burn it off more? No, oh, that's still it's going to get wet. Okay. We're playing with wire. Okay, so with this one, the nice thing is we can kind of um, line it up with just the bottom here. And then it's going to be this line here. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. So now we're going to do the same thing again. Okay. So I'm trying to do a bit darker this time. Now with this one, you can push fairly hard when you're... This one, you're kissing the puppy, not kissing the bunny. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. And then okay. I'm just gonna wipe the worst of it off. And then the same thing. Yep. Same exactly the same way. <clears throat> I'm not really doing anything fancy for the inside. I'm just layering some piece of cardstock together. So I'm gonna do that while you're coloring. Okay. So the layers here, I just cut um, the Highland Heather cardstock to five and a quarter by four inches. Don't ask me what the metric conversions for these are. Um, I will post them in text because I can't do that math on the go. And uh, and then the white is five and five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. I will post that all in the text. So do you just make up those sort of numbers? How no, no. Is there a formula? There's, there's pretty much a formula. So what I do when I make card bases, and this is the same for metric as it is for our imperial cardstock. So I take an eight and a half by sheet, and I score it in half one way, and then I cut it in half the other. Oh, okay. So the card bases are eight and a half by five and a half, or four and a quarter by 11, depending on which way you cut them and which way you score them. And then from there, I just take, um, for the layers, either a quarter um, or an eighth of an inch off every edge. So in total, it's either um, a quarter or a half an inch. No, how does that work? An eight, uh, it's a quarter or an eighth all the way around. So it's either a half or an eighth, yeah, okay. um, all the way around. So that's where I get for the four and a quarter. Um, I've taken a quarter inch off, so there's an eighth all the way around. Um, and then the five and a half, it's the same thing. It's five and a quarter. So it's half an, or a quarter inch smaller. And then, sorry, it was a sixteenth all the way around. So for these layers, um, it's a sixteenth all the way around. So I've taken an eighth off all the whole thing around. And it's the same um, for the metric cards. So if you're using A4 paper, um, you just work in your multiples of, of millimeters. Okay. All right, here we go. Halfway up and back. <laughs> it's a good aggression there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Woo. Okay. All right, so now we're going to put that aside to dry. Um, I'm going to do mine. And you have to decide on what greeting you want to put on there. Okay. So I'm going to give you, this is the Itty Bitty Greeting stamp set. So there's two, um, two cases worth of stamps to look at there. 
And then I'm going to actually show you because these are, oh no, these are, I'm telling that, sorry, I lied. So, because I think you ordered some cling mount. Did you figure out the difference between the cling and the clear mounts? Well, the stickers are stickers are sticky. very sticky. Yeah, so that's yes. what I thought. Am I doing this wrong? Yeah, yeah. they're really sticky. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's so, what it was. So I did a video last week um, on those differences, and uh, I, I couldn't remember if I actually told you no. or you about that or not. Sorry, I know. I know. <laughs> surprised you a bit there. Well, it did. I thought, am I doing this wrong? Yeah, and I looked at some of my other ones and thought. And then I saw that yeah. I had maybe the sticky was on the yeah. wrong side. And yeah, so the, so what you used to have was the clear mount, which are the same as this. Mm -hmm. um, and then the new ones are called cling mount. So it's that sticker that they've changed. It's really sticky. It's really Will sticky. Will it stay sticky? Um, yeah, and if it does lose a little bit of stickiness, you can clean it. Oh, okay. um, and just yeah. water? Or? Yeah, uh, I think it was just like water in a mouth, so you can clean it with. Okay. But yeah, they, they stay really sticky. And then what I do with them, is I do the same as I do with my clear mounts, um, and I leave them in this. And what you can actually do is you can stick it to your labeled sheet. Oh, so you okay. actually stick it to that so that it doesn't get stuck on the case, um, and then they're easier to peel and they stay cleaner. Okay. And then if you have trouble peeling them off the block, because that now becomes a problem, mm -hmm. if you get a fingernail underneath there, then, okay. then it'll come right off. Or I use the tips of my scissors, or my take your pick tool, the little spatula sometimes. Mm -hmm. Total sidetrack. <laughs> but important, but very important. Yeah. Something that's very confusing if you're not warned about it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I did sort of think, well, it must be the way it is. It's the only yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. I'm not totally crazy. <laughs> I'm just going to go with congratulations, I think. Okay. And these are brand new. Yeah. Have you used all of them yet? I used the with gratitude just for my um, International Day of Forces. Thank you, trees. You're awesome. <laughs> okay. So, so yeah, so that one, yeah, so that one, you, I don't usually put this the stickers on, okay. um, just because they aren't very sticky. So I just, you can just peel the paper off, and then there's a block here, and it stays on it. I'm gonna use to uh, stamp your greeting on there. Okay, and we're gonna do that before we do the string. Yeah. I'm going crazy and getting all kinds of messages, but they're not coming to the video, so I'm not even going to worry about them. <laughs> and if anybody is watching and commenting, I'm sorry, I can't see comments apparently, so I still haven't quite figured this live thing out. So it just goes on just a little bit below where we're going yeah, to put you can, you can the put it. Yeah, you can put it kind of where it'll go underneath the string, or if you want to put it somewhere else, you can do that too. I like the way that looks. Yeah. That always helps. Maybe <laughs> Okay. So that is mine. And I might as well just use a camera. Too. Mine's not perfectly straight either. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. So now we're going to mount these onto um, the Highland Heather cardstock. Now, there's a trick that I just learned. I didn't do it on these cards, so you can actually see how. Uh, the edges kind of oh, pick up on the side because it's wet, wet. right? Yeah. This isn't watercolor paper, so it does work a little bit when it's wet. So we're going to use tear and tape. Okay. And there's a super awesome tip I learned for this, too, um, that helps you line things up. So 
So I've never done this before. Okay. We're gonna try it. I'm glad to be the first. Yeah, and it's really cool. So if you have like a tremor or something like that, that keeps you from lining things up straight, this can really help with that. So we're gonna put tear and tape all the way around the edge. Or too much coffee. Or too much coffee, <laughs> yep, yeah. yep. The, these are our problems, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the tear and tape that the puppy got a hold of, oh, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so there's some holes, but it still works. So we put this all the way around the edge. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make some, the person that I saw it from, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was, called these rabbit ears. So what you do is you pull the tape back about halfway and then fold it like that. Mm -hmm. So there's like this little dog leg in there that it sticks out. What if I have a dog leg and stuff like that? Seeing as we're kissing bunnies and puppies. Well, and the dog ate your tape. And the dog ate your tape. <laughs> very true, very true. And I would like to clarify that it wasn't my puppy, it was my mom's puppy. Because my puppy is better than me. I'm just kidding, Mom. your puppy's very well behaved. <laughs> okay, so we've got all those on there. So now when you put it on here, it's not actually gonna stick. It's gonna sit on those little dog legs that we're calling them. So you can kind of get it lined up where you want it, and then you can just push the corners down. Oh, and then just pull And the then tape. you just pull the tape. Oh, this was a great idea. So this is one of the things that is going to help people that have some kind of physical challenge stopping them from enjoying stamping. Oh, yeah, that makes a huge right? difference. So if you if you have, like I said, a tremor or um, even some people have vision issues that stop them from being able to line things up while they're holding them, they may need to take a step back and look at them. Um, there's all kinds of challenges like that that this can help you overcome. And then some of us just have the finger stupids. I'm not saying that you do, but sometimes I do. Or it just, it just sticks down on you like, yeah. all of a sudden, right? And yeah. Can't move it. Yeah, exactly. No, I really like that. That worked out quite well. I'm going to cut up some of the braided linen trim here. Tie a little knot to roll to get a little more tie. Oh, somebody's watching. Elise! Elise is watching. Hi, Elise! Hi, Elise! I find sometimes, too, I work downstairs and the light's not great. Yeah, I just got um, some new lights from Costco. They have those hot lights. Um, so they're a daylight balanced LED light and they're really bright and they had them on sale at Costco they were like seven bucks a piece or something like that. Um, so I got two for my, my, uh, craft desk. That's a great. Yeah. Cause I've got just like one 60 watt over bulb overhead in my craft yeah. room. So well, I had so many like, shadows too. Exactly. That, right? yeah. yeah. So I need to figure out still how to minimize the shadows because with two, I'm still getting lots of shadows. So if you've watched my live videos like of my hands lately, um, then you'll see that I've got all these kind of weird shadows. So I still have to work on that a little bit, but it's really nice when I'm actually making things. And sometimes I'll even put it, because um, they have these flexible heads. So mm -hmm. I can actually, when, like, when I'm punching something, for example, I'll put the light like right here and actually like look at it like right in the light. Are they like a freestanding? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a desk light. Yeah, downstairs, yeah, or my light's not great. Yeah, they had two different ones at Costco, and I got the older ones. The newer ones were a little bit more expensive. They were still on sale the last time I was there. And it's that box light? Bot, O-T-T. O-T-T, yeah. And there, yeah, for reading and crafting and so on. On the table. table, maybe. Oh, -T -T. you're so smart! Oh, that's exactly what that is. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's on the table, perfect. <clears throat> I'm almost there. Oh, good. 
Okay. Okay. It's a very pretty purple. Mm -hmm. I like this one. It goes really well with the uh, gorgeous grape, but it's not the same. It's just kind of like similar, similar colors in different shades. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, hold well, in the midst of the dog eight. <laughs> yeah, we need scissors to ah, sneak in there. Maybe, yeah. Because I'm going to this part stuck down. Yeah. Well, if it's just that one corner that doesn't get stuck down, that's going to be okay. All right. Yeah. I can probably get in there with my little pokey after. Yeah, I've got. Oh. This is like on the home improvement shows where we find what can go wrong. Totally. And then totally. we totally set it up. So Absolutely. Steph can fix it. Yeah. <laughs> so that piece came up. <laughs> so if your dog chews your tear and tape, mm -hmm. want to make sure that it's going to still peel off. What I should have done was I should have brought the roll of tear and tape that the dog didn't get into. Mm -hmm. That's okay. There we go. Perfect. See? Fit. Fixable. Yes. There we go. I think cats. Resistance. But I think that was yeah. just the very end, right? Yeah. There, and that came out perfect. And to be fair to, to dogs, cats will chew things like this too. Probably, yes. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to do the ribbon. So with this, what I like to do is just put glue dots on either end so that I can wrap it around the front. It's there. Mm -hmm. And then a little knot. And this is just like the first knot that you tie when you tie your shoelaces. Pull the square knot. That ends my finger. Of course it did. Okay, how do you do this without? Oh, I know. Lift it up to it, right? And where would you put it more? Ah, okay. No. You need four hands. It's true. I use my boobs to hold the card. Well, see, <laughs> I'm at a disadvantage there. <laughs> oh, okay, that's okay. Got it? I got it, yeah. Well, then I'm thrown off because I didn't. But if I put the bow over there, maybe. Yeah. Did you cut it? Right? No, no, I tied oh. it and then cut it. Okay. And then if it's wiggling around a bit, you can take another glue dot and put the glue dot underneath where you want it to stay. Yes. And then what I did with the cards, I must have fluffed this up a little bit. Did you do it too? No, just I just one? did the one. Yep. Yeah. 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 And then just trim it down however long you want it. And then you can flip it up a little bit. Oh, actually, let's see who that is. Somebody else is watching too. See? More popular. Yeah. Yeah. That was, you noticed when you said glue, all of a sudden. <laughs> all of a sudden, people started watching. <laughs> Par for the course, Steph is being inappropriate. <laughs> oh, 
Alrighty. Do you want to, I put a glue dot underneath it just so it doesn't move around. You can use the scissors or the whatever you want to use here. On the scissors. And you did it for even like half of it. Yeah. I did and then I just kind of smushed it under where it went. I think it's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> So you can even lift it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really good. There we go. All right. Ta -da. Almost done. Okay. Now we're just going to put it all together. We've got dimensionals for the back of your stamped piece. It's going to go on the front. The stamping prints always make fun of me, but I'm just putting too fast. I put one in the middle, yeah. Dimensionals hold fairly well, so you don't need a ton of them. And that's the fun. And then this is going to go on the inside. You are so fast. You are I'm really fast. My, like I said, my stamping friends make fun of me. When I go to events, when it's all other demonstrators, people look at me like I'm crazy because I will finish things so quickly. You're like the flash. I am. I'm the flash of crafting. You are. <laughs> I think that was the jealousy thing. You know, because not everybody can do it. All right, now here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. That's nice with the green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it is it is similar colors to the, what we used with the markers. So the green is the same as the grass, um, and then the the background, the purple, is a little bit of a lighter version than what we used. Nice. Uh, oh, those are here. Okay, oh, we want that one. for the inside, right. and then pearls. We're just gonna pop. A few pearls on the front. I'm going to say the tape guns for Stampin' Up are really nice. Yes. Like compared to the cheaper ones that you can yeah. buy. They really are nice. They do hold much better. Yeah. Well, you don't have to press so hard, they mm -hmm. come off easily. It didn't pair to say that. No. <laughs> That's from experience. I'm being cheap. <laughs> and the other thing I have is I do have stamps for the back this time. I remembered them. Where did you put one? Onto the back, yeah. Cool. Well, I've got my one. Oh, yeah, that's right. You've got the one you're doing. Yeah, so I even, didn't even need to bring that. Perfect. All right. I think that's it. Ooh. We made our cards. They are beautiful. I haven't put my pearlies on. Oh, you need to put your pearls on there still. And then we'll, we'll, we'll come up and we'll show you. Okay, did you use the teeny tiny? I use the medium sized ones and I just use the scissors to, or you can use the poker to your chicken. Yeah, but with me, yeah, you use that normally, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Is that? Yeah. Around me, apparently. And not just my mind. <laughs> there we go. Now it's Is it white? No, it's black. Okay, good. So it's, so it's from my dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There. All righty. All right, let's show everybody and then we can turn the camera off. Good. All right. So those are the cards we made. Oh, yep, there we go. So pretty. Thank you, Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>